Uh, Steve, James Dawson has his testimonial uh, this Sunday against Hull KR. You were crucial in, in starting out in his, his professional career at the Bradford Bulls. What what are your earliest memories of, of James? Probably the earliest ones was travelling up to, to Cumbria, watching him play for Wathbrow. I think it was Wathbrow under 16, something like that. Travelling all the way up there, meeting his parents, you know, meeting James. I said, watching him play, making that effort to go up there. and, and um, Because we knew if we were going to sign James, we were going to have to probably relocate him. Uh, we knew there was a stiff competition for him from the other clubs, so that was the first one going up there, and then obviously, um, you know, welcoming him to Bradford Bulls and settling him into his into his first house, if you like, and uh, yeah, just his his sheer enthusiasm from a from a, a a young young teenager, you know, and his ability to to move out of the house at a young age and and settle into a new environment. And there was a lot of competition for his his signature. He trained with Wigan. I think yeah. it, at the time he, he thought Wigan was probably going to be his destination. Leeds were very much in for him. Do you yeah. remember how, how pleased you were to, to have captured him? Really pleased. Like it was it was a tough ask, it was. You know, there was you know some really, really big clubs in there wanting James. And you know, thankfully, yeah, last I think with the effort that we made as a club to to put ourselves out there and go visit him personally and uh, spend some time with his parents was 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 really influential. But I was so so happy that that we signed him and um you know he, he slotted into our system straight away. And what's made him stand out as a young player? Uh, effort, energy, uh, great kid, like absolutely great kid. Uh, uh, but the, he's, um, you know, he, just his ability to to work as hard as he possibly can. He's had some uh, horrendous luck with some injuries, uh, but the the way he's worked so hard to overcome those and play as many games as he has and, and have the career that he's had. You know, I think everybody thought at a young age it was all going to be playing serving for him, everything was going to go well for him. And, and throughout his junior career, it had. But I think you get really tested with those moments of adversity with, uh, you know, the, the injuries that he's had. And, and uh, you know, the, the, the family situation as well, what happened to his brother, you know, if I can say that, we, is, a, is a very, very big thing for a young man to deal with. So uh, I'm super, super proud of, of James and the way he's, he's coped with adversity and managed to keep, um, keep himself really, really positive. And like I said, you know, forge a great career. And you gave him his Super League debut as well. Uh, he must have been a player you had faith in that could deliver a, a, a top table. Yeah, it was it was good. I think he was eighteen at the time, and I think it was against Warrington. I might be wrong there. I'm not sure. I'm sure it was. I think it was against Warrington. But he he stepped in and did a great job. And like I said, I think without the the early injuries there, I think he would have gone to play a lot lot more games. And um, but uh, yeah, he was a he was a talented young boy. And, and like I said, it was based on effort. It was based on his attitude. It was based on doing all the things that a lot of people don't notice. And for me, this is what testimonials are all about. Yeah, I know you get some big name players, some star players who've had glittering careers and they get testimonials. This is what testimonials are all about. People like James Donaldson, working class family, working class background, he's worked his socks off, worked his ass off as, as hard as he possibly can to, to do everything he possibly can in the game. And if anybody deserves a testimonial, this will be said about a lot of people, but typically this is what testimonials are about people like James. And presumably as a coach, a player who has that sort of work attitude and, and commitment to learn must be a must be a dream for a coach. Yeah, he sets the example. Like he's, you know, there's there's you got you know, you've got the players with the you know the glitz and the glamour and you know the the polishing touches and everything else, and they're the crowd pleasers, they're what everybody, you know, a lot of people go and see. But players like James are what other players really appreciate playing alongside and living alongside and coming to work every single day with. And like I said, that's what um, that's what our sport's really about. And uh, yeah, I'm so, so glad that he's, he's getting some recognition with his testimonial and, and everything else around it for him this season. And the, the commitment he's shown to himself and his career, he hit out of crossroads when he was at Hull KR and had a period there of out of contract. The fact that he, what he's been able to do at Leeds, have you followed his career uh, with interest since then? Yeah, always. You know, always. I think you have a, have a certainly a, you know, an affinity with James from, from you know, going up there to... To help him sign and then taking him up there when his, his brother had his accident and spending a bit of time with the family and getting to know the family well. So we've got a really, really close connection with him. And uh, yeah, like I said, he's, uh, um, I think his coaches, uh, you know, it depends which type of coach you are, but you know, you get sometimes you get really, really close with, you, with your players and become like your sons, your kids, you know, because you spend so much time with them. And uh, for James to come at such an early age and for us to help influence and shape his career, he's obviously had great upbringing from his parents. and and hopefully we as uh, as the Bradford Bulls and the staff that were there at the time helped mould him into the person that he is. But credit to him, you know, you know, like I said, the adversity through injuries, a family situation, being left without a club, most people would stop. 
most people would have stopped at that point, but he hasn't. And uh, I'm sure he's still got another good few years left in him right now.